Hello. Good day to everybody, uh, or night, I don't know. Backwards verbs. So what is a backwards verb? It, it, this is my own term that I use. Uh, some people have, I've seen on the internet verbs like gustar. All right, so gustar and encantar, these are weird verbs, and I call them backwards verbs. We'll get to it. Backwards verbs are verbs where the object does the action to the subject. All right, so in English we say, I like soccer. Well, what do I like? I like soccer. Soccer is what I like. In Spanish, it translates, soccer is pleasing to me. So soccer is the one pleasing me. It's doing the action to me, the subject. So it's, it's backwards. It's a little weird. Spanish backwards verbs require the use of indirect object pronouns. You have to. Have to use an indirect object pronoun. That is what tells you who is receiving the action. Who likes? I like, you like, she likes, we like, maybe they like, right? These verbs do not translate from Spanish to English with literal translations, uh, but rather they use meaning translations or, or common translations, everyday translations. So if you were to translate something from English to Spanish or Spanish to English, you're not going to use the literal words from one language to another. You're going to absorb it and then give the everyday used words, uh, a common translation. Here's a, It's not a holistic list, it's not a complete list, but it's a list of, of common backwards verbs. Doler, encantar, fascinar, gustar, importar, interesar, molestar. All right, so think about this. Ah, oh, my knees hurt. Are my knees hurting or am I hurting, right? They're, they, they, I, I feel my knees and they're hurting. Uh, I'll get to it. So, indirect object pronouns. Me, te, le, nos, les. Me, te, le, nos, les. This translates to to me or two or for me. Two or for you. Okay, two or for him or her or it. Two or for us, two or for them, for y'all. So, encantar, I love them. Like, me encanta el fútbol. I love soccer. Me encanta el fútbol. Or, me encantan los deportes. So, with backwards verbs, we only conjugate the verb in the third person, either singular, me encanta, or plural, third person plural, encantan. I love sports. Sports is plural. Sports are pleasing to me. Me encantan los deportes. Here we conjugate, right? So, the th three verbs, fascinar, importar, interesar. So, importar, something that it matters to you or it's important to you. Uh, nos, nos importa la tecnología. Technology matters to us. Nos importa la tecnología. Nos uh, les importan, uh, you know, los vegetales. <laughs> to them, vegetables are important, right? Vegetables matter to them. Les importan los vegetales, right? They, they're, they're vegan. They gotta eat vegetables. Um, interesado, something's interested. You know, it's something interests me or it's interesting to me. Me interesa uh, las computadoras, or me interesan las computadoras. Computers, plural, computers interest me. Computers are interesting to me. So we can. I just want to show you redundantly. It's fascina, 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 or fascinan, fascinan, fascinan. You have to conjugate the verb in the third person. What gives the meaning? is the indirect object pronoun, me, te, le, nos, les. Okay, so me, te, le, nos, and les tells you who does the liking, who likes it, or who wants it, who is it important to. All right, this is a cool page. So, doler, this is what I was getting at earlier with my knees. <laughs> Blank hurt me, right? So, the, the, the doler is to hurt. Do I hurt my knee, like, on purpose? I heard it. No, I'm not the one doing the action to my knee. My knee is doing the action to me. My knee is hurting me. 
right? So it kind of gets weird, maybe philosophical. I am not my knee. My knee is, a, is, is attached to me, right? Or is a part of me. My knee hurts me. Me duele, um, or me duelen, because it's plurals, las rodillas. My knees hurt me. The knees are hurting to me. My knees don't hurt you, right? <laughs> so, me duele, if it's one knee. Me duelen, if it's both knees, plural. Me duele la cabeza. My head hurts. I am not my head, but my head is attached. It's a part. It's hurting me. It hurts to me. My head hurts. Me duele la cabeza. Me duele la oreja. My, ah, oh, my ear hurts. You know, I got an earache. You know, I have a headache. Me duele la cabeza. I have a headache. I have an earache. You can translate. Those are common translations. They were perfect. Me duelen, plural, me duelen las manos. Oh, I wake up and my hands just hurt every day. Me duelen las manos, plural. Me duele la mano, singular. Me duelen las manos. Okay. Using clarifiers. If we're talking about he or she, le could be he, you know, he or she. It doesn't matter. So because of that, less could be them or y'all or, you know, gender specific, whatever. There are clarifiers that we add specifically for the third person because there's multiple recipients, potentially. So there is a clarifier. A mi me gusta. A ti te gusta. A él le gusta. A ella le gusta. Okay. Um, a nosotros nos gusta. These clarifiers, if you see them, it's just they, they go with, with these specific indirect object pronouns. Hopefully this video helped. Please, in the comments below, let me know if you have any other video requests uh, or if you just have a follow-up grammar question. I'd be happy to, happy to help. So have a good one.